New Delhi, the capital of India, the world's most populous country, a city that's home to nearly 30 million people. It also consistently ranks among the world's most polluted cities, and this year is no different. For weeks now, the air here has been so bad that it's been deemed uninhabitable. The cold winter air has trapped pollutants from vehicles and industries and stubble burning by farmers in nearby states. The pollutants are mostly PM2.5 and PM10, which directly damage the lungs and even enter the bloodstream. Scientists say prolonged exposure has been linked to heart and lung diseases, respiratory infections and adverse birth outcomes. It's these conditions that residents of New Delhi and many other Indian cities have had to live. For more than two weeks, New Delhi's air quality index, which measures the level of fine particulate matter in the air, has been nearly 10 times over the acceptable limit. Water guns were deployed at one point on the streets of the capital to help clear the air. Pollution was a lot of pollution. The pollution was a lot of separated. The pollution was a lot of pollution. 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 The but the water guns only offer a temporary respite. Now, for the first time, authorities in New Delhi are considering going a step further. As the annual monsoon season is still months away, they now want to wash the pollutants away by making artificial rain. The technique, called cloud seeding, has been around since 1946, when scientists from the U.S. energy giant General Electric were looking for a way to de-ice planes and create fog for the military. Cloud seeding has since been adopted by a number of countries, including China, where it has been used to fight drought and clean the air ahead of major events like the 2008 Beijing Olympics. So, how does it work? Cloud seeding essentially speeds up the condensation of cloud moisture to create rain. The process involves injecting clouds with salts, like silver or potassium iodide, through the air or generators from the ground. The salt granules cause ice crystals to form in the clouds that combine with water droplets. The droplets turn into snowflakes that eventually melt when they fall, producing rain. The hope in New Delhi is that the rain will help wash away particulate matter in the air. But there are factors that could actually make the situation worse, not better. Kufan Beg from the Indian government's air quality monitoring agency told the Post only heavy rain would be useful. If it comes down drizzling, it can make air heavier and trigger secondary aerosol formation. Instead of bringing relief, it might end up significantly increasing the pollutants. Environmentalists also say cloud seeding is expensive. Ants like the water guns is only a band-aid solution. Instead, they're calling for long-term solutions, which the government says it has started implementing. They include introducing electric public transport vehicles and subsidies as part of a push for an all-EV city. But other experts say cloud seeding is also worth trying and may offer important lessons for the future. For now, the New Delhi government has announced an early start to the school winter break and has banned construction activity. 
It's now awaiting the go-ahead from the country's Supreme Court to proceed cloud seeding.